Observe the card with the words on it. Can you read it? What happens if you hold up the card in front of a plane mirror? Can you read the word now? At the end of this lesson, you should be able to State the characteristics of image formed by a plane mirror. Look at the picture of the boy standing in front of the mirror. What do you notice about the letter and number on his t-shirt? Have you had a similar experience when looking at your image on the mirror? What happens when the boy raises his right hand to touch his left ear? Click at the mirror to see what happens. The image of the boy is laterally inverted. It turns your right into your left and vice versa. Thus, the image formed by a plane mirror is said to be laterally inverted. Can you state other characteristics of the image formed by a plane mirror? Let us look at the picture of the boy again. Is the image of the boy in the mirror smaller, bigger or the same as his actual size? Did you see the image as being upside down or upright? Key in your answer in Table 1. Click the button to check your answer. Let's continue with our investigation of the image formed by a plane mirror. The plane mirror is placed vertically on a piece of graph paper. A lighted candle is placed in front of the glass sheet and the distance of the image formed behind the mirror is measured. Where do you think the image will be formed? Count the number of squares on the graph paper between the object and the mirror and between the image and the mirror. Are they equal in numbers? Yes, the number of squares on the graph paper between the object and the mirror and between the image and the mirror are the same. Therefore, we can conclude that the distance of the image from the mirror is the same as the distance of the object from the mirror. When a screen is placed behind the mirror, no image is formed on the screen. What is the type of image formed by the plane mirror? Mouse over the virtual and real words to know the definition. Virtual image means that the image cannot be captured on the screen. Real image means that the image can be captured on the screen. Click at the blue boxes to choose your answer. Virtual image, real image means Real image means Real Im virtual Your answer is correct. That's not right. Please try Real again. Real image means That's not right. 
Please try again. Real image means that the image can be captured on the screen. That's not right. Please try again. The ray diagram illustrates how the image formed by the mirror is seen by the eye. The light rays appear to come from the image. In actual fact, the light rays come from the object through reflection by the mirror. When a ray of light strike a plane mirror, it is reflected so that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. The image formed is virtual, meaning it cannot be formed on a screen. Choose the correct image for the object shown in the figure. Complete the figure by using ray diagram to show the position of the image. Your answer is incorrect. This is the correct answer. Click on the correct answer. What is the characteristics of the image formed by a plane mirror? A. Real, upright and same size. B. Virtual, inverted and same size. C. Real, inverted and diminished. D. Virtual, upright and laterally inverted. Your answer is correct. Marina stands 4.0 meters in front of a plane mirror. She moves 2.5 meters towards the mirror. How far is the image formed from Marina? A. 1.5 meters. B. 3.0 meters. C. 4.0 meters. D. 6.5 meters. Your answer is correct. Which of the following is true about the image formed by a plane mirror? A. The image is smaller than the object. B. The image cannot be formed on a screen. C. The image is formed on the same side as the object. D. The image distance from the mirror is twice the object distance from the mirror. Your answer is correct. Figure shows the image formed by a plane mirror. Which of the following is the image of point O? 
A O one, B O two, C O three, D O four. Your answer is correct. A driver wants to overtake a car in front of him. He takes a quick look at the side mirror. The image that he sees is a real and upright, b real and inverted, c virtual and inverted, d virtual and laterally inverted. Your answer is correct. In this lesson, we learnt that the image formed by a plane mirror is laterally inverted, same size as object, upright, virtual. The image distance from the mirror is the same as the object distance from the mirror. A man of height one point five eight meters stand in front of the mirror for a fitting. One. What is the minimum size of the mirror which will allow the man to see his entire image? How do you obtain this answer? The minimum size of the mirror which will allow the man to see his entire image is zero point seven nine meters. The ratio between the part of mirror required to view the entire image and the height of the object is one to two. In order to view his image, the man must look as low as point Y to see his feet and as high as point X to see the tip of his head. The man only needs the part of mirror extending between points X and Y in order to view his entire image. By measuring the distance x y, you will find that in order to view an image of yourself in a plane mirror, you will need the mirror to be half of your height. Two. Does the distance where he stands from the mirror affect the size of mirror which he needs to see his entire image? No. The distance where he stands from the mirror does not affect the size of the mirror. To know why, observe the simulation. Indeed, in the diagram, the man's line of sight crosses the mirror at the same locations. A six-foot man needs three feet of mirror to view his whole image, regardless of where he is standing.